hello welcome back to my channel today I'm actually using my vlogging camera because I've just gone to use my normal like big camera and I think there's water damage in the lens so I can't use that one so I'm really hoping that the quality on here is okay because I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get a bigger camera so I'm actually quite glad I managed to get my vlogging camera when I did now so hopefully the sound is okay because I can't attach a mic to it the lighting is probably going to be fine because the quality of the camera itself is fine so today to test it out I can't I wanted to do an easy video that well, like doesn't need a lot of good quality if that makes sense so I'm doing a tag video and it is called what is it called the beauty youtuber tag and I was tagged to do it by June Stay. I will link her channel somewhere here if not down below go and check her out she's so sweet she is quite new to YouTube I think but she's really really sweet and her singing voice is blooming incredible so go and check her out. I'm just going to get straight into it and answer the questions. Okay. Question one, what products are on your face right now? So right now I have the L'Oreal Nude Cushion Foundation. I've got the trusty Lasting Perfections Concealer which always rubs off which is a lifesaver. I love this concealer. I don't actually have that much on today. Arbonne, it's a long story mascara. I need to buy a new one. I'm currently going through samples that I've got. A Kiko eyeshadow in 03, which is a shimmery, bronzy, goldy colour. I absolutely love this. Um, a collections blush in bashful, really lightly on my cheeks because it's very pigmented. Arbonne Setting Pretty Powder, which again I absolutely love. It's a loose powder, it's beautiful. And then I have on um, my PS Super Matte Li Liquid Lipstick from Primark, which I'm still not 100% sure on the colour. Let me know your thoughts. I feel like it washes me out a little bit, but I love how pigmented these are. I kind of want to really like it, and they're only £2.50, so that is what's on my face. How long does it take you to put your makeup on? On a work morning, probably about 20 minutes. On a day off, I probably fuck about a little bit more. So half an hour, 45 minutes, but it's only because I will like take my time over it and I'll get distracted by different things. And, but yeah, if I'm just literally just doing my makeup, then about 15 to 20 minutes. What do you do first, um, face or eyes? I do my face first. Although I have noticed a lot of people do, like if they wear a lot of eyeshadow, they do their eyes first and then their face, so I might start trying that. Do you collect makeup or buy as needed? I buy as needed, but I will occasionally buy extra pieces that I don't really need, just because they're pretty and I want them in my makeup collection. But I wouldn't say I have a collection of a lot of makeup, like compared to a hell of a lot of people, I have literally nothing. Favourite store to buy makeup from? Probably Boots, that tends to be where I buy a lot of my makeup from, however I have recently been trying to make sure I go into Superdrug a lot more since I've discovered Revolution makeup, so Boots and Superdrug but mainly Boots. Do you do a full face of makeup every day? No. For work? Yes. And if I'm filming? Yes. But no, sometimes I, I won't wear any or I'll literally just have concealer and, and mascara on. It all depends on what I'm doing that day and how I feel in the morning. Bold lips with a neutral eye or neutral lips with a bold eye? I would probably go neutral lips with a bold, no, bold lip with a neutral eye just because I'm more confident about a lipstick than I am an eyeshadow. I'm still not 100% confident in like going all out with my eyeshadows I'm still a bronze and brown and nude kind of girl I won't go all out but with my lipsticks I do like a bright lip do you wear makeup when you're home alone no there is absolutely no point and I like to let my skin breathe do you ever leave the house without makeup on yes a lot. I don't really care about leaving the house without makeup on, to be honest. How do you store your makeup? I have a like little makeup, well, it's actually I think it's made for a bathroom because it was in the bathroom section, but a little like tiny vanity thing that's got like three little drawers on the front. I'll film a little bit of it so you can see it, but it's three little drawers on the front and then lots of little slots in the top. And then I have a drawer, it's not organised, but it's kind of organised that has all my other pieces in which I'm not going to show you because it's an absolute what products are your must have in your travel makeup bag probably the last imperfections concealer because if you don't want to wear a foundation at all it's this is really nice just to literally pop under your eyes to brighten your eyes and on any blemishes probably my Arbonne powder again because it gives a little bit of coverage so with a concealer and just that, you're usually good to go. A mascara, not one in general, but one that I like. What is one area of makeup you'd like to improve on? Eyebrows. Eyebrows are my pet peeve. I'm so bad at doing them and I get so frustrated and I just wish I had a talent for eyebrows. 
and I don't. If you could go back in time and give your younger self one piece of makeup advice, what would it be? Don't wear too much. <laughs> You don't need it. I wasn't, well, to be honest, I wasn't very adventurous with makeup when I was younger. I didn't really get into it properly, really, until I was like 18, 19. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I didn't get excited about it. I wore it because I felt like I needed to wear it, not because I wanted to wear it. It wasn't really an interest to me. What is one brand you couldn't live without? There isn't really one brand that I couldn't live without. I'm trying to think what I have most of, like if I have most of one brand. I don't. It's all very, very mixed. I don't have a favourite brand. Sorry. What product couldn't you live without? Probably mascara, because it makes the most difference to my face. Like if I haven't got mascara on, if you've watched my vlogs or I've done some videos on here actually, without any makeup on, my eyes are very small without mascara on. I feel like I need it to kind of open my eyes and brighten them a lot. So definitely mascara. What is one brand you've been eyeing but haven't purchased anything from yet? Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my goodness. I have the biggest list of things that I would like from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm very excited because there is a stand coming in John Lewis in Cambridge and I'm going to have to restrict myself and I was talking to my friend at work about it the other day and we have decided that one product a month is all we're going to be able to buy because she's so expensive but one product a month is going to be our treat every month is something from Charlotte Tilbury. I want everything. <laughs> Biggest beauty pet peeve. The first thing that kind of comes to my mind is that people very much push that there's one way to wear makeup. Like there's certain looks that you should wear whereas different makeup looks suit different people but I feel like only certain things are accepted and some people will look at people that are a bit more experimental with their makeup and think, oh, what, what has she done to her face sort of thing, but that's not how it should be. You should be able to wear your makeup how you want to wear your makeup. How often do you wear false eyelashes? Never, I hate them. How many high-end products do you have? It depends what you would cast as high-end. Would you cast MAC as high-end? Because I have a lot of MAC lipsticks. I've got a NARS eyeshadow palette. Sometimes buy the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation when I'm feeling like I want to treat myself to foundation because it's quite pricey. Not a lot. Although I have a Chanel cream eyeshadow pot which I'm obsessed with. It's one of my favourite things ever. That's probably the most high-end. What is your go-to makeup brush brand? Zoeva. I love their brushes. I love how they look and I love how they feel. They're just really good on my skin and I think they make my makeup look a bit better um, however I do really need to wash them they are really nasty right now what is your skincare routine like absolutely shocking and embarrassing to say I don't really have one at the moment I'm very lazy so at the minute I'm just using the Garnier Marcella so I keep looking over there because that's where all my makeup is behind me so yeah I'm just currently using the Marcella water with cotton pads to take my makeup off just because it's quick. What is your favourite beauty fashion magazine? I don't really read magazines, so I don't really have one. If you could meet any icon in the beauty fashion industry, alive or deceased, who would it be? I would really like to meet Charlotte Tilbury because she just seems really, really nice. Maybe Audrey Hepburn, although I don't really know if she was a beauty icon, but she very much like rocked the natural no makeup makeup look. That's kind of what I like to go for most of the time. I don't like heavy makeup, so yeah. Charlotte Tilbury and Audrey Hepburn. Favourite beauty YouTubers? Okay, so all the normal ones. So I love. Who else do I watch? Beauty by Alice, absolutely love her videos right now. Beauty Crush, Sammy, I really like her. I'm trying to remember who I watch. I mean, to be honest, I watch more vlogs now than I do beauty videos. So they're probably the main ones that I will look for their beauty videos to watch. Otherwise it's vlogs. Favourite type of beauty video to watch. Again, I don't really have a favourite type of beauty video to watch. I mean, I really like the series type thing that Alice is doing at the minute where she's doing like a full face with one brand. Um, I'm sure other people have done it, but it's only Alice's that I've seen recently, so that's been really interesting. Why am I finding these questions so hard? They should be so easy. Other things I like to watch um, is probably like people's everyday makeup routine, just because I find it really interesting to see what makeup other people will grab or will reach or go back to and will wear every single day. Favourite type of beauty video to make? Um, again, probably everyday makeup. I find that really fun to film. I've done that a couple of times. I actually quite enjoy filming my favourite videos because it's nice to look back and think, like when I get ready to film the video, it's nice to look back and think, oh yeah, I've been using that all month. That's crazy, like that sort of thing. Is your hair naturally curly or straight? My hair isn't either. It's kind of a frizzy wave. <laughs> so parts of it are straight, parts of it are curly, but it's just a bit frizzy. What is your natural hair colour? This, like a mousy, dark, blonde, light brown. 
kind of colour and it has natural like blonde bits in it. Do you dye your hair yourself or go to a salon? I don't dye my hair but when I have dyed my hair I now go to a salon because I had an absolute disaster a few years back where I dyed my hair at home and it went green. So now I will never ever do a home dye, I will always go to a salon. <laughs> How often do you wash your hair? I wash my hair every other day. I did go through a stage where I was washing it every three days. Um, but I was always miserable with my hair on the day on the third day, so I've gone back to every other day now. Do you do your own mani pedi or go to a salon? I do my own because I now have a gel kit, so I can do them myself at home. How often do you change your nail polish? Mm, it depends how long it lasts, but probably like every week. <laughs> I get bored easily. Favorite nail polish brand for the gels? OPI. But before I used gels a lot. I was always go to SC nail polishes. I really, really like those. Best beauty advice slash tip. If you like it, wear it because I have no other tip to give. What do you do with the rest of your day? I am editing this video and hoping that the sound and the light and everything is okay. They are all of the questions. Um, who do I tag? I tag Alice from Beauty by Alice. I tag Hannah Lucy from Hannah Lucy. Who else do I tag? Who else do I watch? And I tag Amy Lodge because she's an absolute sweetheart. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you want to do this tag video, please do it and let me know that you've done it. Leave it in the comments below so I can go and watch them. I love watching tag videos. I think they are probably one of my guilty pleasures. Um, so make sure you let me know if you have done it. And I will see you next week. Bye!